Hi, I am Patrick van der Meer, Visual Coach, and this is a video about domain names and your Azure website. Okay, so I published my website on Azure, and after I did that, and that's a completely different video, you'll, you'll find one about that uh, somewhere else uh, on my website, on my YouTube channel. Uh, so let's look at the website. So if you are managing this resource, um, then you can say, well, at this current moment, your app is stopped, uh, but you're still getting charged. <laughs> so let's start it. And the default address that you get, default address that you get, uh, will something be like the name of a project and then the Azure websites.net uh, extension for the domain. So if I click on that, I assume that the website is already started now then um, you'll get something like this having the address here in the top and that's it actually i already preloaded it so this is the new loaded right so this is what you have but this is of course not your custom domain so my custom name is visualcoach.com or visualcoach.biz um, and they should both both point to this website well to do that uh, i need my domain management system uh, to point to uh, the Azure website, of course. All right, so how do I go about it? Now, well, let's start at custom domains. So in custom domains, you have a uh, IP address and you have a custom domain verification ID. And this is uh, two things that you uh, will need to appoint uh, one of the uh, domains that you have uh, to here. So um, just for this video, I cleared out everything. So I might um, find that I'm in trouble actually, uh, because all these servers and the connected services uh, that uh, that are uh, on there, uh, they point to addresses, IP addresses, and, and and redirections. And I may have, because I deleted all the data on my um, in my domain uh, management system, I might run into some trouble. But so. That's the real thing that, that happens to you as well. So what do you do then if that happens? You just wait until everything is reset again and all these servers are shared their information with each other and all the mess is solved. So don't think that you make too much mistakes. Just follow what we do over here and you'll be okay in the end. So let's say we want to have one of my custom domains added. So let's start with the visual coach. Uh, dot this so let's first see what happens if I press a validate button and it says well you know what we see that the host name is available but are you owning this domain well if you do then take your uh, go to your domain manager and add this a text document and set your A records to this IP address. Okay, so I can do that. So I go take this IP address. Actually, it's the same IP address, of course, as, as in the top over here. So I can take it from there. I go to my domain manager for the visual coach of this. And I say, listen, I'm going to point this to this IP address. I put it to custom, make sure that uh, everything is updated quite quickly. I cannot go below 600, so that's that's bad. 600 seconds is 10 minutes, so this information will be on its earliest, will be, well, not on its latest, I have to say, is being uh, refreshed on, on, on the main servers for the domain uh, uh, routing uh, after 600 seconds, 10 minutes. So save. That's the first step. Okay, cool. So what else? Well, it says over here that I need a text document uh, with the host name of uh, a suit and then giving this value which is actually the custom domain verification ID over here so I'm gonna copy that because I can remember the a suit and I go again to my records and uh, just to make sure I removed everything so there is no other text record in this list sometimes you have a second page remember that one so you have to check the second page 
there's no second page that says well there's a text record there's actually no text record at all uh, that reads a suit and then has a code so let's let's do that add we're gonna select a text and we're gonna add the a suit and we're gonna add the identification key and we're gonna say well listen I need I mean I'm in a hurry so I need my 600 seconds some providers will give you a faster way to do this uh, even less seconds so if you have that use it all right so that's that so now this IP address or this domain is connected to this IP address on Azure and um, this was just to make sure that I can verify that I set it up correctly. So let's go back to over here and let's click the validate button again. Let's see what happens. Now it says, hey, you've got the domain ownership. You are the owner of the domain, so you can set it up. Okay, so I'm adding this custom domain to my list. Great. I knew I could do it. Yeah. So let's uh, see. Um, it's not secured. Okay, good. That's that's the whole um, uh, SSL certificate uh, connection thing uh, with this binding. So we'll, we'll leave it for now. We're just going to connect all the uh, domains. So this is connected. So I also want the WW Visual Code of Biz, I guess. Hmm. So let's see if we can get that. Uh, we're just going to add another domain. Uh, having www.visualcoach. Oh, this. And let's validate it. Well, the hostname is available. And again, the domain ownership, that is something questionable. So it says, okay, get another text file in there with the same custom verification over here so let's get that and then the a suit www all right another thing is that you need a c name called www pointing to this address ah, okay fair enough so uh let's start with this copy Go to my DNS management system. Say, uh, I just check again. I didn't have a WWC name connected, so add, select a C name. Uh, that needs to be a WWW, and then it needs the. Oh, that's that's that's. Is that correct? Let me check again. Just www safe, but there was another thing I need to do. So I also need to do this. Get this code over here. Make another text document, text record. So add a text with the name of www, and then I have this personal identification key in there, and save. Sounds good. So let's go back to here and let's press this validation button again. Woohoo! Looks good. I'm the owner of the domain. Good. Let's add this domain as well. Done. Okay. I got a hang of it. I've got another domain. Let's add it as well. Validate again. Yes, it works edit so now I have my custom domain names from GoDaddy connected to my Azure website now it is a bit painful because they're not uh, secure yet so if I start the website I'll probably get some trouble um, it's still running right okay it's still running so let's just for I don't know if it's needed but I'm just gonna refresh it Oh, I'm going to restart it, I mean. 
Yes. Because there's data missing in it as well, as well over here. That's probably because I added some, some stuff. You would expect that there would be like uh, a link over here to get to my website. Hmm. Well, this could be because I, oh, it's a bit slow. There it is. So this is the website. Uh, like I showed before, so let's 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 kill this and just wait until it's loaded because it's all for refreshed. So this is it. Then um, what happens if I just type? Okay, sorry, this was the main server. So this is the address, that the original address. So what happens if I just replace that with uh, the www dot visual coach dot biz well it says <laughs> you can go there but it's not safe all right well i know it's i i and yona i don't i don't care for now so yeah it's connected correctly uh if i put it on com let's see if that is also updated com Also unsafe, of course, advanced, go, works.